Welcome to this episode of Liberty Creek. On this episode, Jen and I came up to the cabin um, early Saturday morning. We just got up here at about 9.30 and it's cold and it's just snowing just a little. Take a look. We just came up. I still got to unload the car. Um, we brought my dog, my puppy dog. And look how beautiful. Look at my snowman. What's left of it? Oh, Jen, look. Oh. Oh, check this out. Jen, we're, come here. There he is. Jen, look. <laughs> all right folks i don't know if you uh saw that but there's some type of little white ferret or something running around and we thought it was pretty cool yeah, it's so cute. um we caught it i think we caught a little bit of it on uh video that is a albino weasel and the little black tip on the tail basically um they actually shed and grow a white winter's coat for the winter to keep them better camouflaged pretty cool I, I i thought that was really cool we don't have them in connecticut well at least i've never seen them but right now i'm going to try to rake some of the snow off the top of the cabin because i don't know how much more snow we're going to get but i try to keep up with it while i'm up here and if I see my little friend sneaking around, we'll grab some uh, video of that as well. My Starlink looks like it warmed up. You can see it dripping, just dropping some of the snow off. I might take a little walk down to the creek um falling over the head of the snowman <laughs> let's take a look inside the outdoor kitchen make sure everything's good all right outdoor kitchen looks good um yeah for some of our newer subscribers, I know I just picked up a bunch. Um, want to give a shout out to uh, St. Bernard Acres for mentioning us in one of his videos. Appreciate that because you know I am just struggling over here to pick up subscribers. I have not seen a big influx in my uh, subscribers. I do get a lot of views on all my videos. I just don't get subscribers um but it is what it is we do this for a hobby right now it is fun and i'll continue on making videos on our adventures and our life and our weekends up at the off-grid cabin but i had a couple questions asking me about like you know why did you close in the outdoor kitchen stuff like that i did not close in the outdoor kitchen this is the plan from the beginning 
we wanted an outdoor shed, kitchen shed. If you watch some of my videos, I already explained it. The tops are left open for ventilation if we do ha uh, put in a bigger grill or something. So I'll have a way. I have my exhaust fan over here. The windows in the summertime will always be open. This here is just, just temporary, just for the winter months. It gets removed and there's nothing ever there. I might put a something to just every weekend shut it so the rain don't get in, I don't know. But I still have a little work to do on the outdoor kitchen. I gotta put on base molding. I gotta put the green rooftop, I gotta cut that out. I gotta trim out those pieces. And I think that's about it. I think I'm gonna add one more battery to the inverter. So everything will run off of solar over here. But I think we're pretty much done at that point. It came out exactly like Jen and I imagined it. Um, we will be adding that little deck onto the front, but uh, it's great. We love it. And uh, it came out, like I said, exactly how Jen and I envisioned it. And we, we could cook in this thing all year long. We were, um, Jen cooked breakfast last weekend in it. Um, it's nice. It's a, if you have a homestead, you have something like that, back in the 1800s or you know um when you're talking about real off-grid days you know back when lower angles and stuff like that um they would put outdoor kitchens outside because they would have wood burning stoves they would cook everything on the wood burning stove and in the summer in especially really warm areas they did not want to heat up the kitchen when it's like a 98 degree day in the summer so what they many of them did is have a outdoor kitchen not as cool as mine of course but it is what it is we love it some people mentioned why'd you put it so close to the uh cabin um again this is what we wanted i really thought uh, when we first started making plans we were going to put it over here i didn't want to chop down my pine over there so maybe we would push it back and get rid of the small pine and we were thinking about it and basically in the future um two things i think i'm gonna just like uh maybe fence in this area of the yard so like a little side yard and i would like to put something over here like um maybe a i would love to get like a, a hot tub or something like that and i thought it would be much easier to maybe fence in over there have a little gate over here to go into the side yard um so we want to put this pretty much in line with the uh, cabin and I think it came out perfect just like we thought again another reason is a lot of our time up here especially in the nicer weather is focused around this fire pit we spend a lot of time out the fire pit a lot of time sitting around it till 10 11 o'clock at night and it would be very cool for like when we start around for you know supper time jen's cooking in here we have a little deck on here we can sit eat everything outside and then people could be over by the fire pit here and it doesn't seem like you know you know jen's the one that's always cooking she's in the house separate you know everybody could be together enjoying the outside outdoors that's why we come up here and it just worked out perfectly we love it and uh yeah, it's just going to get better. We'll see what uh, 2023 has in store for us with the outdoor kitchen and all the other things we talked about doing. All right, Justice and I are going to take a walk. We're going to go down to the creek and see if her old lass will make it. I'm sure, he did a ass slide. All right, come on, let's go. Trying not to fall and bust my butt, but come on, folks. This is beautiful. I love, I, I, I'm an overgrown child. I've been called that before, Donna. Um, 
I am. I, I love the outdoors. I love playing outside. I love walking in the woods. Um, come on, Justice. Come on. And, you know, I didn't grow up in the woods or anything like that, but I always wanted to go adventure in them. And I got a little bit of a chance when I joined the Marine Corps. Come on. You want to go this way? Let's go check out over Jen's favorite spot. If justice allows me to. She, her sniffer's working. She's sniffing everything. Um, uh, yeah. So I do. I do like to go outside. I like to have fun outside in the snow. Go exploring. I mean, you could give me a stick and I'll go jump into this creek in the uh, you know summertime and spend a couple hours trying to remove leaves. That's what Jennifer says. She'll be calling me. We, I got a radio in my pocket now because she gets worried because I'll go out here say, yeah, I'm gonna go walk to the creek and I'll be gone for three hours, but not today with the dog. I've gotta be careful she don't slide down here. But I just want to see the creek. Stay here, heel. Look at the, oh my God, look how beautiful that is. Folks, if you don't see the beauty in this, I, I don't know. Something's wrong with your eyes. Just walk all the way down. See what our little guy's doing on the um, on the down log or down tree. I know her little paws will get cold, and she's a little old girl. So after a little bit, probably just walk down and walk back, and she'll sit by the fire. But, yeah, it's lightly snowing right now. We're taking a little walk. Come on. So I've had questions. Um, again, I got a lot of new subscribers. Um, you know, I picked up probably about 50 subscribers in the last month. Whoa. Um, ooh, there's some scat. Yeah. Um, I would say I have close to 17 acres and that's a lot of, a lot of property. I would love to get more. Um, so yeah, I can't wait till I start making some real nice trails and I get a four wheeler. Once I get that four wheeler, it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, there he is. Always oh, cracks me up. Trying not to fall. I'm gonna step on No, we're not going. Just stay away. There he is. Yeah. Just so peaceful down here. Um I mean, the road's not too far away. We get a car come down it every 15 minutes. You might hear it. The road's up that way. Um, like I said, I built my cabin not too far off the road because as you can see, it snows here. And I'm not, you know, logging, walking stuff in a mile. But um, you can take a nice hike deeper into the 16 acres and you won't hear anything. But down here, like I said, sometimes you can hear a loud car go by, but you got the creek running. Just listen. Hear that? All you hear is the creek. This way, this way. Come on. <laughs> I just gotta remember she's an old little girl lady now. She's um she's eleven now, I believe. 
we rescued Justice um, 11 years ago. She was just a pup from a Texas high kill shelter. I ordered her online. I saw her online and I said, man, she reminded me of my shepherd when he was a puppy. And um, so I told uh, Jennifer actually did all the paperwork because she wanted justice real bad. And so we got her. She came in uh, JFK. I think it was something like Christmas Eve or something like that. And Jen and her brother went and picked, picked her up in the crate. She, she came back. You're going to get all wet. Oh, Mommy's going to get mad. Look at this, folks. Alright, I had to uh, bring Justice back in. Her little paws are getting too cold. I want to take another walk. This tree, I know we still get some growth every year, but this tree's going. Uh, springtime, coming down. You see the woodpeckers really started doing a number on it. So this tree will probably come down. I'll probably take out this whole six foot area over here, if you can see. This is where this whole area maybe I don't know about that pine but everything else what is that over there yeah that oh, about all these trees here except for that pine I'll probably leave the pine um it's going and right here will be the shed and then I'm done I don't like cutting down trees folks this one has to go down safety hazard or just it's coming down regardless. Oh man, woodpeckers. Yeah, I mean, it's dead. I was thinking about taking it down this year, but th these branches actually sprouted a lot of stuff. The top is missing. Look like it came down some other time. The top's laying down over there. So yeah, down, that's, that's definitely dead. Dead standing. The rest of these, it's just a matter of time. I'm gonna take them out of there. If I go through the effort of building a nice shed and then having one of these trees fall on it. This one looks like it's pretty healthy. I'm gonna leave that one. Um, maybe some of these bigger, uh, these pines in the back will grow if I get rid of that. But anyway, I had to get rid of Justice here, put her back inside, let her warm up, and I'm gonna take a walk down. This is known as Justice's Trail. She loves to walk down this trail in the uh, in the uh, summertime. I think it's the top of that tree. Came down, landed in the path.
this is, this is where probably at one time all four properties um, To me, this would be the edge of my property, but when they had surveyed, actually the edge of the property is right there, that's right there, a tree. I don't understand it myself. You hear cracking of branches as well. Sometimes I'm out on hikes or we're doing stuff on the yard, you'll hear an actual tree fall. <laughs> okay, those are some hawks that just drove up. Some hawks just went overhead. Actually, it scared me for a second. It sounded like a dog or something running up behind me, breathing hard. That's why I carry a firearm. All right, I think we'll start heading back. I would walk this way and get hit the street, but this way there's just way too much up and down. Got to climb a small little hill. I'll be ending up falling in the snow. And plus there's the big part of the creek you would have to pass. And I don't feel like getting wet. All right, let's head back. <laughs> Or did Pops get them for us? I think Pops got them. We were looking and we we're looking for some just some decent snowshoes to try. Because you know, if you've been following my channel, it snows here. I mean, this will be by, you know, by the end of winter, we might have two or three uh, feet of snow in the woods here. I won't be able to walk around like this. So, look for some snowshoes, give it a try. And we wanted just a decent pair from, uh, a store job lot or something like that and they never had them and I think Pops found them and he gave them to us but it was too late the snow melted or something we never tried them so I've had them for about a year now and I did bring them up to the cabin so I'll be trying the snowshoe as soon as I get enough snow on the ground oh look at this tree Hopefully it will end up happening because I'll be walking this back trail and just find out the ground one day. There's a couple around. Yeah, there's a lot of down trees that make good firewood, but again, I gotta have more time to cut and split and do all that stuff. I can need to get a four wheeler so I can drag it out of here. I'm not carrying or you know these little trails. I can't bring my truck back here. One time, I think there's a video, I was able to bring my truck right down to here and just as the trail. This tree wasn't here, this tree came down. I was able to turn around and head back. I don't remember what we were doing, why we needed the truck down here. But we did and we were doing something. Just came in and uh, Jen made me a little lunch. Let's see what she got. What you make over here, girl? Just a little 
of chicken noodle soup and quesadillas. Ooh. Oh, quesadillas. <laughs> On the uh, griddle. A little griddle, yeah. That is a good griddle, folks. Um, yeah, for an electric one? For electric? Presto. Oh, presto. Re highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. But uh, there you go. I'm going to have a little lunch because it was a little chilly outside. And I was out for about an hour. And um, Jen's been sitting in here getting the place warmed up. We are now up to 65 degrees in the cabin. The fire kind of slowed down a little. We ran the propane for about an hour when we first got here. And everything is now just taking in the warmth. Um, the chairs aren't blocks anymore. Uh, blocks of ice. So let me uh, get comfortable. I think we're going to just chill most of the day. Enjoy the cabin for once instead of working. And uh, play some Tetris. <laughs> and uh, yeah, go from there. Well, it is now Saturday morning. Some more tracks in the snow. Definitely look like deer. Um, I'm gonna put in my trail cams now. Really don't, when I checked them, I really didn't have anything on them. Um, I think maybe a fox, if I have the footage, I'll show it. It's funny, like, the cameras, um, you know, it'll catch me coming and going, but didn't catch the plow guy plowing the end of the driveway. Um, it's it's amazing. I don't know why. Maybe the batteries are just, it just gets so cold up here. Maybe when the plow guy was here, the batteries weren't functioning correctly. When I came up, it warmed up a little. I don't know, but not very reliable. This is my favorite one, but because this captured a uh, pickup gen, if you look over here, I mean, she was crossing way over there and it actually grabbed one picture when we came in um there's some of them that you could be right on top and they don't do anything so let me load up this camera loading up the camera is pretty simple Whoa. like i said this is one of my better ones i've had this for a while so all i have to do stick it in it's already set up it'll give me a countdown here there it goes. It's supposed to be taking video, which I don't think it does. Looks like the batteries are fading. Something's going on. Yeah, the batteries may be dead on this. I just replaced them. That's another thing. It's a, it's a real pain because in the winter time, these things go, go through batteries. When it's nice out, they last forever. There you go. You can't really see, but there's a countdown. Got four seconds, they'll start snapping pictures. It's okay if it snaps uh, me walking away. At least I know it's functioning. Wow, it's another, it is really another beautiful day up here. I wish I could stay up here. Oh man, the time goes so fast up here. Jen and I had a great weekend up here. You know, just being lazy for once. All right, folks. I'll see you on the next one. I'll try to keep the videos coming. Right now, like I said, the content is all over the place because I'm not um, building anything right now. It's freezing up here. I can't do anything outside. <laughs> I'm just trying to enjoy the cabin a little bit and um, you know, get away for the weekends. But I'll keep something coming your way and you can see what me and Jen are up to. So thanks for subscribing, hit that notification bell, do all those good things, give me that thumbs up, it really helps a lot. I am struggling on this channel. I cannot pick up subscribers, you know, at the rate of other channels. You know, I have started my cabin build before some of these other channels and they are just leaps and bounds ahead of me when it comes to subscribers and views on their um, videos. I don't know, don't understand the algorithm. I'm just struggling, but I'll keep making the videos because it's fun and that's not the reason why I set out to do this. Um, yeah, but I, I just don't get it. I, I think some of my content's really good, but still, I just can't, I can't, I need YouTube Go down the basement and flip that switch for me and you know let some subscribers pour in like they have done for so many other channels um i don't know we've owned the property for five years now i think i've been on uh youtube for about four years 
and um, I think about three years um, really collecting the subscribers and we're not even at 3,000 subscribers at this point but for those of you that I've met and we inspired and we became friends on um, YouTube um, thanks for subscribing it keeps me going keeps us sharing our little uh, adventure here up in Vermont at the off-grid cabin and uh, we'll keep going until there's nothing else to uh, film all right folks thanks for watching once again appreciate everybody once again have a uh, good New Year's and I wish the best for all of you peace